Great Depression, which I'm old enough to remember, there was, and most of my family were unemployed working class, it was bad. But there was an expectation that things were going to get better. There isn't today. I think that um, what is so compelling about Chomsky as the voice of this narrative is that he, like, um, the, the clearest way to describe it is that I feel like when he speaks to a phenomenon or an issue or a principle, in very many ways, the clarity of his insight allows you to almost have x-ray vision and to see what the structure is behind it, what's putting it in place, what's supporting it, what's moving it forward. I think that what's great about being in DC specifically is obviously this is the intersect of ideas and implementation. We have, all of us have different ideas of how it is that the federal government should be run, how it is that we should allocate the limited resources that we have as a population, as a group of citizens. And then DC is the mechanism, ideally, for putting those ideas into place. So just by very nature of being in DC, being in the capital where legislation is debated and passed, it lends a certain relevance to the conversation that you have, and I think that's what's exciting for filmmakers, to see that obviously the films that we make are issue-driven, can, ha can have an impact on the conversation around policy to address those issues. You open by talking about the American dream. Part of the American dream is class mobility. You're born poor, you work hard, you get rich. It's all collapsed.